In this video, I'll show you how to create a buy one get one free offer in WooCommerce in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so the first step is to head over to WooSuite.com, go ahead and download and install the dynamic pricing and discount rules plugin. This is what we'll be using throughout this video. The links will be in the description below. So once you've done so, let's head back over to our dashboard. Okay, so here we are in our WordPress dashboard and assuming you've downloaded the dynamic pricing discount rules plugin, you wanna go ahead and navigate to plugins, add new, go ahead and upload and install the plugin in which you just downloaded. Once you've done so, you'll see this WooSuite menu here. Go ahead and activate your license key from the add-ons menu. You wanna go ahead and activate the dynamic pricing and discount rules plugin. So once you've done so, we'll go ahead and click on dynamic pricing rules. Okay, so then we wanna head over to advanced rules. So throughout this video, I'm gonna create our buy one, get one free offer using two different methods. So I'm gonna create a global buy one, get one free offer, and I'm gonna create one on a product level. So what I mean by the global level is I'm gonna set it on a category basis. So I'm gonna create a promotional offer within our accessories categories. So how the rule will work is that a user will be able to buy any product within this particular category and they'll be able to activate the buy one, get one free rule. Okay, so this is the global setup we'll be using. So let's head back over to our dashboard here. Okay, and then under advanced rules, we wanna go ahead and click add category pricing. Okay, and then we just wanna give this campaign a name. It's for internal purposes only. So I'm gonna name mine buy one, get one free accessories category. And then the quantities will be based on the line quantity, okay? So it's the number of items within the particular category. Okay, so where it says categories to count, so this is our trigger. That's gonna trigger this promotional offer. So we'll say if a user purchase a product within our accessories categories. So where it says categories to adjust, this is where we'll apply the discount. So again, we can go ahead and select our accessories categories again. Okay, so the reason why we've got this is let's say you've got a handbag category and you wanted a user to purchase a product from the handbags category to be able to access this buy one, get one free promotion from the accessories categories. Then you could say that a user needs to purchase X amount of items within our handbags category and then we'll apply the discount to the accessories category. So this is why um, we've set this up in this way. Okay, but for this example, I'm gonna say the user needs to buy, purchase something from our accessories category, and then we'll give them a disc, we'll apply a discount back to the accessories category. Okay, and then where it says applies to, here we get to choose who we want this rule to apply to. So we can select everyone, meaning everyone will be able to access this particular promotion, or we can select guest users, which are users logged out of our site, or we can select a specific user role or a specific user as well. I'm gonna set mine to everyone for this example. Okay, if you wanted as well, you could um, activate this promotional offer to first time buyers only. Again, I'm just gonna keep everything simple. And then where it says processing mode, I'm gonna select special offer here. And for this section where it says coupon applies to, I'm just gonna ignore this for now. However, if you wanted to activate this particular promotional offer um, via a coupon, you can do so. But I'll, I'll leave a link in the description below to a different video where I'll show you how to implement a particular campaign via a coupon. So again, where it says dates, we can specify this promotion to run within a given time period. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave it blank for now. Okay, so scrolling down to where it says purchase here. So the user needs to purchase one item and we will give them one item and I'm gonna set the discount type here, a, a percentage discount to 100%, okay? And we don't need a percentage sign. So our rule reads, purchase one item and you'll receive one item at a 100% discount, meaning they'll be um, getting the second item for free, essentially, right? Okay, so this is our um, buy one get one free campaign setup on a global level and then here where it says repeating you can set this rule to repeat so say for example if a user was to add two items to the basket that would mean that they're entitled to two free item in my case I'm going to set this to no meaning that after the first after they've redeemed the buy one get one free if they purchase any 
number of items after that, they won't be able to get. So I'm just going to go ahead and save changes and then we'll navigate to our accessories categories and see if this promotion offer is working as it should. So I'm going to refresh this page. Okay. And I'm going to add two items to our basket. So I'm going to add this beanie hat here and I'm going to also add this belt to cart. So as you can see the price there. So let's add the belt to cart and you can see we're still getting this for 20 pounds in my case. So we're getting the beanie hat for free. You might wonder what happens if it's a higher ticket item, for example, right? So currently I've got the belt in our cart, which is 20 pounds. And let's go ahead and add this sunglasses to our basket and see what happens. Okay, so now you can see we're getting the cheapest items free. So that's how the rule works. So this is our buy one, get one free offer done on a global level. But let's say, for example, if you just wanted to do it on a product level. So, so first, before we check out the product level, let's just delete this rule. Okay, just to avoid any conflictions. So we'll just delete this rule and go ahead and save changes. Okay, so now we'll create a buy one, get one free offer on a product level. So I'm just going to go ahead and edit this product here. And now when we navigate to product data, we can see this extra section on the side, which says that price and discount rules. So now I'm going to click add a pricing group. Okay. And similar to on a global level, we get to choose who we want this rule to apply to. Again, I'm going to set it to everyone. I'm going to set the quantities based on the product quantity. And then for the processing mode, just like on a global level, I'm going to set this to special offer. Um, I'm not going to schedule a date here. And then similar to, well, just the same as the global level, I'm going to say for user purchase one item, they'll receive another item at a discount, a percentage discount of a hundred percent, meaning they'll get in the second, they'll be getting the second item for free. And for repeating, I'm going to set this to no, because we only want the user to be able to redeem this offer once. So let's go ahead and update this product. Okay. Let's view product. And now if we add two items to cart, we'll get the second one for free. So first let's remove this from our basket. Okay. And then let's add two items to cart and we should get the second one for free. So without this promotion running, um, this should be, um, let's see, 180 pounds, right? But we're still getting it for 90 pounds. So we're getting the second item for free. And that's how you create a WooCommerce buy one, get one free offer in just a few simple steps. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave in the comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.